Welcome to lecture 8. We now start chapter 2 on matrices. We shall look at a couple of sections from this chapter. 2.1 operations with matrices, 2.2 properties of matrix operations, 2.3 the inverse of a matrix, 2.4 elementary matrices, and 2.5 applications of matrix operations. In lecture 8 we start with section 2.1 operations with matrices. Once more we are using the text Elementary Linear Algebra by Ron Lawson, 7th edition Sengage Learning. This is Dr. Gilbert Iyabi. Operation 1 Equality of Matrices before we give the definition, let us make a quick remark. In stating the various operations and also in proofs, we shall represent matrices using a representative element enclosed in brackets such as AIJ, BIJ, or CIJ. Now, if there is need to emphasize the dimension of the matrix in this notation, then we shall include the dimension M by N on the lower right hand corner of the representative element in brackets. Now the first formal definition. Two matrices A equals AIJ and B equals BIJ are said to be equal if A they have the same size M by N and two, their corresponding entries are equal, i.e. aij equals bij for all i and j, i between 1 and m, and j between 1 and n. Operation 2, matrix addition. Let A equals AIJ and B equals BIJ be matrices of the same size M by N. Okay? Mark you, if the sizes are not the same, then matrix addition is not defined. So if A equals AIJ and B equals BIJ are matrices of the same size M by N, then their sum is defined and it is an M by N matrix given by AIJ plus BIJ, i.e. we simply add the corresponding entries. Once more, if uh, the dimensions are different, then the sum would not be defined. Operation 3, scalar multiplication. Let A equals AIJ be an M by N matrix and alpha a real number, i.e. alpha is a scalar. Then the scalar multiple of A by alpha equals the matrix alpha AIJ, i.e. every entry in A is multiplied by the scalar alpha. We shall see an example that illustrates all these concepts at the end. Operation 4, matrix multiplication. Let AIJ be a matrix A of dimension M by N and B equals BIJ a matrix of dimension N by P. Then the product AB is an M by P matrix. Now I want us to pause a little and uh, see something that is very important here. Matrix multiplication is by far the most complex of all the operations we've seen so far. So we are going to take our time to define matrix multiplication. So first, A has dimension M by N and B has dimension N by P. The product is only feasible if the number of columns of the matrix A equals the number of rows in the matrix B. 
so we must have n here and we must have n at this position if this is not the case then the product ab is not even feasible it's undefined now if we have our n in this position and our n in this position then we're happy and the other one thing I want you to watch out for very carefully is that the dimension of the product would be m by p. So n and n would determine the feasibility of the operation and m and p would give us the dimension of the product. So the product AB equals cij where cij equals submission k from 1 to n a i k b k j which equals a i 1 b 1 j plus a i 2 b 2 j plus a i 3 b 3 j plus plus a i n b n j i'll give you an example illustrating this at the end of this uh, lecture Let's take a quick remark, uh, which I think I may have already mentioned in passing. But the definition of matrix multiplication means that to find the entry in the ith row and the jth column of the product AB, you must multiply the entries in the ith row of A by the corresponding entries in the jth column of B and then add the results that is where the summation k from 1 to n a i k b k j comes in okay just hang in there it's going to be clear really soon systems of linear equations one practical application of matrix multiplication is representing a system of linear equations. Now I want you to look at this small system. Three equations, three unknowns. We can write this system in the form AX equals B called a matrix equation. Where A is the coefficient matrix of the system x is a color matrix of unknowns and b is also a color matrix of constants on the right hand side a x equals b so when you solve this system and arrive at a solution a unique solution infinitely many solutions no solution at all we can also in matrix terminology say that the solution to the matrix equation ax equals b is whatever you arrived at okay so if we were talking only in terms of systems of linear equation then we would say the solution to the system of linear equations is this if we rewrite this as a matrix equation then we would say the solution to the matrix equation ax equals b is you see how the terminology is coming as a matter of fact the procedures will be the same reduce row echelon form but in explaining your answer your result you want to articulate whatever you're using matrix equation or systems of linear equation now let's look at a few examples before we conclude lecture 8 example 1 solve for x y and z in the matrix equation 4 into x y z negative 1 equals 2 into y z negative x 1 plus 2 into 4x 5 negative x now I'm not going to solve this because it's a baby problem kind of so let me just give you a quick um, setup here when you solve this problem remember scalar multiplication every entry will be multiplied by 4 every entry would be multiplied by 2 every entry will be, would be multiplied by 2 secondly matrix addition means you add corresponding entries corresponding entries 
and three metrics equality simply means you equate corresponding entries so let's get you the first equation that would be 4x equals 2y plus 8 that was easy 4y equals 2z plus 2x 4z equals negative 2x plus 10 negative 4 equals 2 minus 2x you end up with a couple of equations and uh, if it's difficult to figure out the solution just by looking plug it into a math studio do a reduce row echelon form and you would get values for x y and z okay example two find the product a b where a is this three by two matrix and b is this two by two matrix so this is three by two two by two so we have two two so that's good the number of rows equals the number of columns so we're fine we're happy now so that's this feasibility so all we have to do now is to um, by the way our final answer is going to be three by two so what we have to do is perform the operation as we stated earlier this is what happens the first row is multiplied onto the first column to give you the first entry in this first column negative 1 times negative 3 plus 3 times negative 4 you put the answer in here how do we get this entry this row multiplied by this column how do we get this entry this row second row by first column gives you that entry second row by second column gives you that entry what about this third row first column would give you that entry third row second column would give you that entry and we end up with a three by two matrix and right here this is our solution take a minute and look at this very carefully see how we get this one negative one times two plus three times one put the answer in there Well, those were some examples illustrating the concepts of addition, equality, scalar multiplication, and matrix multiplication. Thank you very much.